Hey what's going on guys welcome back to another Monster Gems video so today I'm going to be reviewing the Monster Gravitron from the recent Maze Island and it's going to be at rank 2 level 120. So today I'm going to show you guys the best skill setup, the best rune setup and everything you need to know about the Semitic Monster and on top of that we're going to see whether or not he actually fits in the meta. So I hope you guys are excited for today's review. if you are make sure to drop a like subscribe anyways it's going to get started. Alright guys so as you guys can see we have the Smithic at 120 um Gravitron yeah that is uh, an interesting name and an interesting design as well look at that <laughs> okay so this mythic um he has about 10,959 speed at level 120 which is actually pretty good speed I've got to say that speed's actually not that bad 260,800 life not a bad amount of life you don't have to worry about the power it's not an attacker let's take a look at the traits traits are very very um important right for a monster it means a sun immune to bleed and then here's where it gets interesting all allies gain a random positive status like a start of battle this is what makes this monster so good it makes him very unpredictable i would say so this is going to be more of a team wars monster rather than pvp i would say so definitely run this monster on team wars like in your defense or something with some team speeds and then your attacker could have like two speed, one strength, or just triple speed, whatever, right? So your attacker could end up having pierce or triple damage, you know what I mean? Things like that, because that area random positive side effect is really, really good. Um, like, if I show you right now in war, uh, that one female monster is actually in war, the magic monster that gets a random positive side effect that has anticipation, she's in Galactic Era. It was like in the beginning of the Galactic Era. I just forgot her name. Her, she's in a warrior. I'm gonna definitely run that for sure. You can run it with Serpentex. Serpentex could have like two speed, one strength, while you have like six speed, six team speed on your side. So that attacker is gonna be super fast, and it could end, end up having like triple damage, and that could basically secure like one chip coin or something, um, which is actually a lot for especially for like elite wars. One chip coin is actually a lot, um, but yeah, I would say it's, a, it's gonna be a very nice monster for defense. Uh, but let's take a look at the skills. Skill-wise, we have a random element of protection, uh, earth protection, and metal protection to all allies. Okay, we have trade protection to everybody. All right, we have a remove all negative statistic from all allies. Oh, definitely run that one. And then trade protection to itself. Hmm, I don't know if I really like that. Removes all negative statistic from one ally applies a random metal or applies a metal protection. Earth protection. Okay, removes all negative statistic from itself. But for, so that's for itself, but this is for anybody you want. It could be yourself or one of your allies. I would recommend running this. Maybe you already have a trade protection, plus you don't really need a trade protection. Um, like, here's the thing. The area random positive side effect, that's going to be applied straight away. So when you get a turn in, you use that skill. What are you really protecting? That side effect is most likely going to go away or so. And on top of that, you don't really need to protect these two. Like, what, what is this? Seriously. This is actually not that bad for, like, Shadow and SN, just for the bleeding to counter that. It means the sun... Mm -mm. I'd rather have like immune to control or something. That's a lot better. So this mythic, I would say, is actually not that bad. Um, in terms of runes, I would recommend giving in triple team speed. Make this monster as, well, not as slow as possible, but just give us a team speed. So you know what I mean? That's going to be his role. Here's the thing. As a supporter, this monster does not have any PR skills, which kind of sucks. I really wish he did. I'd run it over, for example, let me see... Maybe I'd run it over this 100%. Yeah, I'd run it over that for sure. But in terms of uh, cooldowns, cooldowns are actually not that bad. Ones, twos, and threes, not bad. Stamina cost, on the other hand, it's kind of high. I'm not really a huge fan of the stamina cost. In terms of relics, oh, relics. Okay, so relics will cover it, basically. Now, here's the thing. For relics, you can do either stamina region for a relic, for your amulet. If not, you know, banner for stamina region so for example if you do mr b's banner here you could go with a different amulet here like something that heals you vice versa if you want to go with something that regenerates your stamina in here you could do that for the banner so here i guess i'll just go back with what we had and the amulet with mr b's banner to regenerate my stamina and then here a started battle gives an armor with that much when the turn starts if the warrior's life is below 50 percent applies double damage to everybody oh interesting um, but I know that there's uh, some ma many other talents to go with, so I might actually go with those. You could do, for example, maybe this. Pockets Watch. Uh, Walker Shield, that's more of a tank, I would say. A Sorry Battle deals 80,000 points. Oh, you know what? This one's actually not that bad. But I don't want to equip it because we're going to take this monster to Adventure Map. Oh, actually, we don't have to take it to Adventure Map, really. We can use it for PvP because all we really need is 
for the battle to start and that random Polar Satisfact to apply, if that makes sense. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to pair it up with Serpentix. Um, and this monster is in Galactic Era. It is a Earth monster. So there goes Gravitron. So I went ahead and give this monster Shadow Unit Essen and we're going to go with something that regenerates our stamina here. Like this. Cool. Alright, so that is said, all we really needed that random positive side effects. And I guess we could make Serpentix a bit fast. I don't want to make him super fast, though. That's the thing. I really don't. Um, I, I think this will be good. Let me see. I have 21,000, 18,000. Yeah, I should be able to take in first turn before Serpentix. But anyways, this monster, again. Um, oh, <laughs> what am I doing? No, 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 no. I just noticed. You know, you know what I noticed? I'm so dumb. The status guess is at rank 3, it's not level- uh, Okay, really? <sighs> it's fine, whatever. I, I- You know what? I don't care. It's fine. I really don't care. Loose Hell kicked in. Yeah, sadly- Dude, I literally just noticed that now. I was like- Oh man, okay, that, that really sucks, wow. That defeats the whole purpose of the video. I really should hit this monster to rank 3, level 130. Um, that's when he gets really, really good. That's when you can actually use this monster. He'll be- very usable, if that makes sense. So, rank 3 is the way, ladies and gentlemen. Rank 3, it is. So, monster died to all those essence. That's fine. Okay. Armor is going to die to that, or I said armor. Um, what's his name? The tank with the armor talent. We'll go with that. You're going to die with all those soldiers on you. You don't have anything that will heal you, so I'm going to charge up. Waste of stamina, you know what I mean? <laughs> um just don't attack my attacker oh you did but okay i think we'll survive and we'll eliminate you all right bam take that he's dead and i win okay so yeah we can't really take it to i guess pvp right now there's really no use for pvp so here's a, my opinion uh with like running this monster for pvp even at rank three or above let's say you have a maxed out term with that random positive satisfact you know i Still wouldn't really recommend running it. Like, there's better options out there. For example, that one Ain Spatial Monster, like I mentioned. I forgot her name. You know what? Let me actually bring her up because I'm probably confusing some of you guys. Lamuna. Oh, yeah. Lamuna. So, I'd rather go with this monster because at least you have, you know, Ain Spatial there. Ain Spatial is pretty good. It means you control. That's very nice. So, trade wise, it's like three times better, basically. So, this area random positive side effect, again, it's pretty good. Um, but I would recommend running a Gravitron. Especially in Team Wars, not much in PvP though. You know what I mean? It's more of a Team Wars monster. So here's the thing. Um, he's still actually usable even at rank two. Even if you don't want to, you know, rank him up to rank three, because look, we have, for example, Taunt there, right? We have Taunt on that monster. Guess what you can do? You can apply Trait Protection to everybody. So when we attack here, that Trait Protection is applied. So if the enemy tries to Trait Disable me, they can't Trait Disable my monster. That Taunt and immune to torture can't do anything about it if it's a status caster i don't know if that'll really work i think it's just trait only status casters don't work i might be wrong when you guys can correct me in the comments if i'm wrong but uh you can ner anything that you have or you can also do it to everybody in your team or you could do a metal protection earth protection and a random protection as well random protection okay could that be oh i think i just got legend yeah we got the legends we got the nature one and what did you get you got... I don't know what you got, really. Okay. Let's go ahead and attack. I'll do this. I don't have to any or anything, but I could apply a random, like, a metal protection for my monster if I want to. And I could any ER art if there was anything on the monster. You know what I mean? We'll attack. And that is how you finish it off. So, again, it's best at rank 3 and above, and... It's going to be mainly a Team Wars monster, I can already tell, but not much of a PvP monster again. So, unfortunately, not bad. But uh, other than that, monster's actually not that bad. I think he's quite alright. He's quite interesting, I've got to say. This right here is what makes him really good, I've got to say. Besides that, he does have access to some NER skills, which is pretty sweet. But um, other than that, I don't know. I don't think he's like super broken or anything like that, you know what I mean? Is he worth ranking up? Only if you're like a competitive war player or something, sure. But if you're not, then I wouldn't really recommend ranking it up. So anyways, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's monster video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's review on Gravitron. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about him. And yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.